So today I will be working on this late 2013 MacBook Pro 13.5 inch model. The There's actually nothing wrong with this. The thing that we're doing today is just cleaning it out. Sometimes when laptops or even desktop computers get really old or uh, depending on their environment that they're in, they get really dirty on the inside really fast, causes them to heat up. And when they start heating up, the fans start running longer, louder. Um, and for laptops, it actually drains the battery because it heats up the whole inside of the computer. And so what we're gonna do is just get it cleaned out because this computer is about just over eight years old. And so while it runs pretty good for an eight year old computer, it is a little on the slow side, but the fan is almost constantly running because it's getting so hot inside the computer, which is mostly because of the battery um, and just, you know, general buildup inside of it. So I'm gonna show you how to take it apart and we're gonna clean out the inside and I'll go over a couple things on the inside as well. So first, what we're gonna need is a P5 screw, uh, bit on a screwdriver. You can use a plastic wedge or just your fingers. And then uh, we're also going to have a little bit of uh, canned air. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna flip this thing over. As you can tell, the physically it's in pretty good condition. Um, there's a couple of scratches on it, but what you'll see on the bottom here are 10 P5 screws. Now these two are shorter than the rest of them. These two are closest to the hinge there. And so you wanna make sure that these two stay separate from the other eight. So let's go ahead and take all this off. Again, these two here are different, so I'm gonna keep them separate. As you can tell, they're pretty small. They're a lot shorter than the rest of them. Okay, so now that we've got all the P5 screws out, all 10 of them, you wanna take your fingers and just kind of wedge it in there. The other thing is, like I said, you could take this piece of plastic, just kind of wedge it in there as well. For these MacBook Pro models of this generation, for the most part, your fingers should do the trick. This will be a little bit tough to pull off, and the reason is, is because of these two clips right here that actually clip into space right there. So, as you can tell, this thing looks pretty clean. There's a few spots here and there that need to be blown out. But for the most part, I mean, being an eight-year-old computer that has traveled around um, a couple different college campuses and several backpacks and all that, and some fuzz there, um, it's actually pretty good condition. So, chances are, the reason why the battery is constantly heating up, which this here is your big battery, um, the battery probably needs to be replaced, to be honest. So before we start messing with anything, you want to make sure that uh, any jewelry is off your hands, um, any metal that, or anything that you're going to touch, you want to make sure it's demagnetized before shoving anything in here. Any warranty related products until um, the computer is out of warranty and then feel free to do whatever you've got to do. So here you've got the processor fan, the processor and the heat sink and all that, solid state drive, uh, built-in uh, RAM memory. You've got your battery that I've already pointed out. Um, to replace your battery, it's kind of a pain. I'm not really gonna go over it in this video here, but it involves removing a few extra screws and really getting down in there and pulling that up. Because uh, if I remember correctly, there's some adhesive down in there. So I'm gonna just take canned air, quickly blow over it. Uh, since it's not too terribly dirty, besides a little bit of fuzz here and there, uh, we don't have to get too detailed in cleaning. If this thing was completely covered or this fan had a bunch of uh, dust and dirt in there, then I would go ahead and pull off the heat sink and I'd pull out the battery and probably end up pulling off the motherboard too, just to make sure that I got under there. But since it's in pretty good condition, we're not gonna deal with that. We're just gonna quickly blow over this. I don't know if you saw that in the video or not, but the, upon the first couple of blows, there was a bunch of dust that just flew out of this fan. Um, you'll notice I'm not letting the fan spin. That's to protect the fan. Uh, sometimes when these motors start or the fans start spinning too much and the motor's not on, it can actually damage the motor. 
I'm actually gonna grab some tweezers here because there's some, uh, I'm not sure if that's hair or dust or what that is, but there's something in there that definitely needs to be pulled out. So we're just gonna get some tweezers and pull that out. On camera, it doesn't look like there's much difference. Um, in person, I could definitely see a lot of the dust blown out of the uh, processor fan. I could see some coming out of the heat sink. There's a bunch of stuff just kind of gunked up in here. A few things that I had to actually take tweezers to pull on. Um, but so far, or it's maintained pretty, pretty clean status, if you ask me, for being eight years old and traveling and being in some nasty environments so that's basically how you clean out the inside of your mac and again if i if i have to replace this battery i'll actually show you how to do that but i'm not going to in this video because i don't need to replace the battery yet but just a, a quick uh, tutorial on how to open up macbook pros from this generation 13 inch 15 inch um, and just some p5 screws and just pull it open pretty simple straightforward and easy so i'm going to go ahead and put it back together here now remember these two pieces you gotta really pop those in there these two hinge screws you want to make sure that you keep them separate from the rest of them so a quick recap you power off your mac you remove all 10 of the p5 screws little stars or what the p5 is it's a five point star and if i remember correctly it's about 1.2 millimeter so if you need to purchase some of these now you know what size or p5s or 1.2 millimeter five star points um, and then you pry back here these two uh, pieces of plastic in there will give a little bit of resistance, but go ahead and pull and pop those off. And then carefully clean out the inside or even replace any of the parts. If you uh, feel confident enough to go ahead and replace whatever you need in there, feel free to do so. Um, you, you'll be the judge of, the, of your knowledge there. So, but as always, thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.